Almighty Supreme Lord, our beloved Gansya Maharaj, Path Maker to all liberation, Pujya Path Guruji and all of your devotees, Jai Swami Narayan. Last Sunday, we listened many incidents from the life of our Pujya Guruji. Now today, we continue our daily Katha of Bhakta Chintamani's Parcha Prakran. Today, in 148th chapter, Sadhguru Sanit Kunanan Swami described many incidents happened in the life of some female devotees of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Bhaje bhave bari bhagavana samaje hari ne samarthi vana Thaya samadhi dekhe Sri Hari Ati sukhi rahe sukhe kari Niskunan Swami described first glories and greatness of the of those devotees who attain some special kind of spiritual advancement only and only because of Bhagavan Swamiland's worship and only by His grace here in this chapter, Nishkunanan Swami described many incidents happened in the life of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's female devotees. There were many female devotees happened in the history in Hinduism, but they were only some limited in numbers. But in Swaminarayan's Sampradaya, in our faith, there were thousands and thousands of such female devotees. That is the greatness and supremacy of Bhagavan Swami Narayan. Niskuran and Swami today describe as one of them, those female devotees. Today Sadhguru Niskuran and Swami describe the greatness and glory of Mogi Bai of Vadodra. She had attained a uh, spiritual advancement and that's why she got a uh, power of going into Samadhi. And that's why because of Samadhi, she can have darshan of Bhagwan at whatever time she desire and not only have a darshan but even what she desire from Bhagwan, or even if she desire any prasad or anything else from uh, Bhagwan, then Bhagwan even hand to hand gave her that things or prasad. So this is what the samadhi is. But if we cannot understand it simply, then let we try to understand it, how it happened. Today, many of you uh, use mobile phone. Because of advancement of technology, nowadays, most of the people use iPhones. Not only their smartphone, but now, today's advanced iPhone. And because of these technologies, without any charge and without having any network or without having any other problem, one can easily see and listen, meaning one can easily make a video call to another person who had the same iPhone. Yes, I'm talking about first time by this technology we can talk and we can even uh, see the person who even stay in very far from the other country so this is happen only because of the technology just think before 15 years or before 20 years 
even one can imagine that that one can talk and one can see at the same time the other person who is very far from the ones at that time that was not possible but nowadays we can do that in the same way at the time of bhagwan swami narayan and after that just as this is the power of technology this is a uh, nothing but the some advancement by a uh, technological advancement by a uh, human being just as we can understand this technology in the same way bhagwan swami narayan and his devotees they have also the same kind of technologies but those devotees they were even very very advanced even the this uh face time and iphones and uh you may call it uh you can also use the skype video calls for that you you have to use uh, such kind of uh technological instrument like phone iphones and uh laptop or ipad or tablets whatever but without any kind of such uh material things bhagwan swami narayan had developed such a technology by that one can easily connected remain connected with bhagwan and that technology is known as samadhi so this mogi bai he she got a uh, darshan of bhagwan swami narayan samadhi just as you start your iphone and just you with the face uh, with the face time you call the, your friend or any other person or your your relatives in the same way those who who attain samadhi they can easily connect they can easily make a face time call or even more than that because in a face time you cannot touch the another person you cannot key or you cannot take from something from the other person but in a samadhi if you want to give anything to bhagwan you can give or if you wants anything from bhagwan then bhagwan also give you and you also took that things with uh, in your hands this is the different between this face time and bhagwan swami narayan samadhi so this mogi by vadodara she got a samadhi and she had darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in samadhi just as you are talking on face time with your friends or your relatives in the same way this mogi by talk with bhagwan swami narayan in a samadhi even though she was staying in her home and bhagwan swami narayan was not in human form in her home but bhagwan swami narayan stayed at very far and the other place mokhi bai in a samadhi she requested maharaj she pray to maharaj maharaj i have had uh, i have many times got your darshan not only in samadhi but also as face to face but i have some desire remain in my heart and that was uh, that was the uh, having darshan not doubt i understand you the cause of all avatars the cause of all incarnations you are the supreme lord of lords but still i have i want to do darshan of your form uh, of your another form like you took a form of lord sri krishna and how you look with the eight wives and some children i want to see that form no doubt all of you also seen the pictures 
or paintings of Lord Sri Krishna, but only sometimes with Radha ji or sometimes with Lakshmi ji or sometimes maybe with Gopis, but not with all these eight wives and some children. But monkey by desire to have a darshan of such kind of Bhagwan's form. Now Bhagwan Swaminar is a lord of lords. He can immediately took any uh, anybody's form, but not Lord Sri Krishna or not not Lord Sri Ram or any other avatar of Bhagwan. They cannot be able to took a form of Bhagwan Swaminar, but only Bhagwan Swaminar. Because he is a Sarvopari, he is a Supreme Lord, and that's why he can assume anybody's form at any time. And that's why Bhagavan Swaminarayan immediately took the form of Lord Sri Krishna and with the eight wives and some children. He shows the form, such kind of his divine form, to Mogibai. At that time, not Mogibai can have a darshan of uh, this. Lord Sri Krishna form of Bhagavan Swaminarayan but those who were present at the time in her home they all got this same darshan of Bhagavan Swaminarayan after having this darshan all became very surprised because no doubt Mogibai had the conviction from faith in the form of Bhagavan Swaminarayan and his greatness his supremacy but the others were not staunch followers or not devotees of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. They have surprised because of this form. Because nobody can took a form of Bhagwan. Because they believe Lord Sri Krishna is the Bhagwan. That's it. But they did not have understanding that Bhagwan Swaminarayan is a supreme law. But by this incident, they can understand the real glory and greatness of Bhagavan Swaminarayan. Now after, after this incident, gradually day by day, Mogibai always went into Samadhi. There she got a darshan of Bhagavan Swaminarayan. Even she talked with Bhagavan Swaminarayan. And many times if she want to give something to Bhagavan, like some fruits, some eatables, some food, some flowers, some garlands. Then she gave all these things to Bhagwan, and Bhagwan Swaminar himself accept his love. One of once upon a day, in her physical form, Mukibai did all the thoughts for Bhagwan. She made everything tables like. Uh, some many time many types of sweets some also the other things and she prayed to Bhagwan Swaminarayan please Maharaj accept my devotion towards you this is not only the eatable things but this is my love for you then Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself manifested before her gave her his divine darshan and after that even Bhagwan Swaminar himself accept all this thar she made a panda, patasa many other sweets so also the other things like vada, bhajya and many sacks now Bhagwan Swaminar himself accepted all these things he eats everything little little and after finally he gave back her prasadi here Niskuran and Swami wrote that Jami Ardha Vadu Apyunath meaning Bhagwan Swami gave her a half Vadu now when Mokibai got this prasadi from Bhagwan Swami hand to hand she did not like that she eat uh, all this prasadi alone but even she distributed all these 
little little prasadi to all those who were gathered there who were present there and in this way she also described the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan that how bhagwan swami narayan is present forever on this earth and how because of his divine power he gave and even by worshiping him one can also have such power now the next day from this uh, of this incident again mogi bai she went into samadhi and she got a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan then again bhagwan swami narayan gave her some uh, first full of some indian fruit that was the fruits of a uh, bear or you can say that if you have not seen then you imagine it's like a in a cherry but not not exact like a cherry but it's indian cherry you may call it indian cherry okay but what happened this is a different kinds because in general it has a big long seeds in a indian bear but this is a different because bhagwan himself gave her and this is divine things this fruit had only a little only a very small seeds inside the bear and the fruits they were very big in size when she came back with this fruit from samadhi physically she stay in her home she only sat for meditation of bhagwan swami narayan but not she himself us uh, but not actually in a physical form she went anywhere still when she came back from samadhi from meditation then these divine fruits remain in her hands this is what the evidence that bhagwan swami narayan himself gave her these divine fruits after this incident sadguru nishkuran swami described many other incident in the same chapter in the same city of vadodara there were many many female devotees there all those female devotees gathered in one devotee's home in a group they many times chanting bhagwan swami narayan's name in the form of dhun many times they perform kirtan bhakti many times they uh, try to do meditation upon bhagwan swami narayan's form in a group many times even they discuss with each other divine incident and actions performed by bhagwan swami narayan sometimes they discuss with each other the greatness and glory of bhagwan swami narayan in this way in short they gather in one home one place and there they engage any kind of devotion of bhagwan swami narayan many days pass in this in this way they perform devotion of bhagwan swami narayan once upon a day some divine thing happened they all were sitting for worshiping bhagwan swami narayan and at that time they were chanting bhagwan swami narayan's holy name swami narayan swami narayan and at the same time some divine uh, one divine thing was happened and that that was rain happened but that was not like a uh, normal rain but this was the rain of flowers divine flowers many times at the time of snow many kids and many persons go outside from their house and even they try to catch the snow snow drops 
and they try to see its form and they believe that its form like uh, some believe that uh, the snow drops have a star shape some believe that it's shape like a flower but they all their beliefs but here in the, in the city of Vadodara many years before at the time of Bhagavan Swami and after that this incident happened they literally all those devotees have witnessed this incident and even they experienced that divine flowers came from a sky how is it possible this was not happened only one day but this happened for four days so all those devotees who had witnessed this incident they all collected those flowers and as a prasadi they kept for long period of time in this way many times bhagwan swami narayan gave such kind of divine experience to his devotees here in this chapter niskuran swami wrote this incident uh, this incidents many incidents happen in the life of these female de- female devotees but not only at the time of bhagwan swami narayan such kind of devotee present on this earth but even today we have such kind of devotees on this earth now the other incident niskuran swami described that was also the de- incident happened in life of female devotees of bhagwan swami narayan that was the incident that uh, one another devotee another female devotee in the city of vadodara her name was ambabai she originally from the southern part of india and she stay there for forever in in the city now after having a company of such uh, some other female devotees of bhagwan swami and she also have a satsang in her life and after having satsang she become gradually advanced in a satsang she had all kind of knowledge of her uh, codes and conducts even she perform all those uh, all of those codes and conducts of our sampraday not only that but she had also love and affection too much for bhagwan swami narayan now after one year by another many years passed and finally her last day came when her last moment came at that time bhagwan swami narayan himself with the com- uh, with many devotees and santo bhagwan swami narayan divinely came there in uh, with many planes divine planes and bhagwan swami narayan himself gave his divine darshan to this ambabai and after giving darshan bhagwan swami narayan himself took the soul of ambabai and go back to his divine abode aksardham not doubt bhagwan swami narayan gave at the time darshan to all those who who were devotees of bhagwan swami narayan as well as who were non devotees of bhagwan swami narayan not only that but if somebody has a doubt then bhagwan swami narayan again gave the other in, uh, other evidence that i myself took ambabai into my aksardham how say ambab uh, those devotees who had this kind of advancement in our satsang and because of this advancement they attain a position of samadhi those devotees ambabai 
not this time bhagwan swaminarayan himself gave darshan to those samadhi nish bhakto but this time amba bai herself in a divine form she appear in samadhi in front of those devotees and she describe that i have kept one black sari in this cabinet and in this exact place in my home and that sari is not belong to me but i um uh, took it for my use from the other devotees if this this dark become where uh, become prove if you ask the other devotee and by asking her if my talk is true then you believe that i am in the abar of bhagwan swami narayan bhagwan swami narayan himself took me into his akshardham then those uh, those devotee came back from samadhi and after samadhi they describe what they experienced in samadhi that um, baba herself came in a samadhi in her divine form and she described this uh this thing about this sari black sari now when they <coughs> inquire to other devotees then this talk become true then all of those devotees and non devotees they believe that bhagwan swami and himself came here in divine form and he himself took this ambaba into his akshardha This is what the incident happened in many female devotees of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. In this way, Bhagwan Swami Narayan himself uh, himself gave the evidence that he is forever present, and even he forever ready to serve his devotees at the time of happiness and at the time of misery, at the time of uh when those devotees live on this earth as well as at the time of their end so this is such kind of incident we can have only and only in our sampradaya but not anywhere else in the world that's why bhagwan swami and supripuri we can save even by this this kind of incident many other incident described by sadguru nis purana swami in the same chapter we will uh, we will listen and describe it in next sunday shri ganesh maharaj ni jai